Hello, hey everyone, I'm Joey Sparks, and God's mercies are new, and again this morning. This morning with my mom. One of the key components to how God has created us and created this world is that he's given us as human beings free moral agency, free choice. It's the only way in which the offer to love him makes any sense, that it, that it matters. If we were controlled, if we have no choice, if we're compelled beyond our control, then everything falls apart, doctrinally, theologically. What that means is then we then bear responsibility for each and every choice and every decision and within every situation and circumstance. Now, James gets to the heart of this in chapter 4. He's introduced it in chapter 1. We'll come back to that text in just a minute, but you're really going to hit this hard in chapter 4. And listen how practical this is, but yet how painful it is. James chapter 4, beginning of verse 1, he asks the question, what causes quarrels, what causes fights among you? Including that time, if you read all the way through the end of verse 4, he's going to mention the you pronoun, second person pronoun, 14 times. 14 times. So does that not answer his question? Well, what causes all these things? How does this happen? You. If you're a part of the problem, if you're there, it's you that needs to bear the responsibility. You've done all this. You've had these wrong passions. You've allowed them to survive and to thrive. You've asked, but you've asked wrongly. You've coveted. You've, you've done all these things. So now you're bearing the fruit of quarrels and dissensions and drama. So when you will bear the responsibility, you can then begin to bear the solution as well. Now he's alluded to this, as we said, James chapter 1, beginning verse 13. But this is not blaming other people. This is blaming God. Let no one say when he is tempted. We're going to be tempted. That's just a fact. Let no one say when he is tempted. I am being tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted with evil and he himself tempts no one. But each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desire. And desire, when it has conceived, gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is fully grown, brings forth death. So the process begins where? Begins in our hearts with our own desire. So will I accept responsibility? Will I accept my end, my part? Now, Solomon had warned us about this centuries before. Psalm 19, verse 3, When a man's folly brings his way to ruin, his heart rages against the Lord. There's blame to be found. Now you go back to the beginning, think about how core these principles are to humanity. Number one even before Adam and Eve sinned, they still had responsibility. So responsibility comes even before sin. We, ha we have to be responsible for what we're given. Number two, when they sinned and God asked them about it, what they do? They turned and they blamed. They turned and they blamed. Let's try to unpack this practically as we can. That means when we're in the midst of a problem, a feud, a quarrel, a fight, some, some kind of drama, some kind of problem even, that means we bear responsibility. It does not mean we're always completely at fault or even partially at fault. But once it happens to us, we now have responsibility. Responsibility to keep it from ruining our lives. Responsibility to ask honestly, what did I contribute? What could I have done better? How will I respond in this moment since it's now difficult? How will I reconcile with a damaged relationship? How will I determine to show the glory of God in this relationship? How will I handle a future situation like this one? See, all of those questions come out of a sense of responsibility. Pause and think, what does the word responsible mean? Response, able. I'm always able to have a clear, measured response. Personal responsibility is rarely fun to accept. It hurts in the moment. But it's always God's path to growth, to pleasing Him, to mending and growing in our relationships. And it's the path of wisdom. He would emphasize that, James chapter 1, verse 5. If anyone likes wisdom, let him ask God. If you recognize you're deficient, go ask God. That begins, this path for wisdom begins by accepting personal responsibility. 
we thank you again for your time. It's our pleasure to spend these few minutes together. And we pray that the timeless Word of God will be your meditation all day today. I woke up this morning.